Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you cosine a plus b equals to cosine a, cosine b minus sine a, sine b. So this is just another common trigonometry identity. So since we have two angles here, a and b, so you might be thinking that we probably need two of the right triangle to prove this identity. So that's right. So this is angle a and angle b. So in the first right triangle, I'm going to call this angle a. And in the second right triangle, I'm going to call this angle B. So basically, A plus B is this big angle here. So once you do A plus B, right, so that's the hypotenuse. And apparently, like, the base is not going to be here. It's going to be somewhere here to here. Uh, somewhere from, like cut down here and then from here. So I'm going to draw this line. So that's one of the leg of this right triangle. It has a 90 degree angle. So this is a right triangle with angle A plus B. So the base of this right triangle is just up from here to here. So I'm gonna call this like let's see, I'm gonna hold this whole base A from here to here. So this whole thing is A from here to here. I'm gonna call this B from here to here. I'm gonna call this side C from here to here. So this is one of the hypotenuse, so H1, and then the second one will be H2, so hypotenuse 2, hypotenuse 1, because it has, has like two right triangles. So here's the thing, you know that we only, when we do cosine A plus B, basically it's the base from here to here, this base. That means we need to figure out what this base is. So I need like the right triangle here, I'm gonna draw a line here, touching the corner of this, uh, triangle so we know, the, we know that this is like a right angle okay so let's i'm gonna call this side length d so if this length uh, this length and this length is the same if this is d what is this length is uh, what's this length called well if this whole thing is a this is d so this must be a minus d so it's a minus d there's a length here so a minus d okay so we know that um this whole thing here is b and what's the length of this so we'll, let's call this e now as you can see this here so since this line and this line so this is straight line across another straight line this angle and this angle must be the same what does that really mean well, it's very important because we need to know the angle here. So let's look at this tri uh, triangle here. We all know that this is a uh, right triangle, so it would be this is ninety degrees, and this has to be ninety degrees because this is a right triangle. So this must be ninety degrees. Now, what does it tell you now? If this angle and this angle are the same, and this is ninety degrees, this ninety degrees, then and this is angle A, then this angle must be angle A as well. So I guess from by now, we have enough information to actually write, to start writing equations and trying to uh, show that this is valid. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to write is, uh, like since this is like cosine, so maybe you want to start with cosine first. So what do you have in, for cosine? Like let's say this is cosine A here, right? So you have cosine A equals to, uh, what's that really equal to? So it would be, but cosine A basically is this right triangle. Then it must be this whole length A and this uh, hypotenuse. So it would be A over H1. So we could actually write as this as a equals to h1 cosine of a the ultimate goal is that what you have to get to is this length right this side is a minus d so you good that you have something like in terms of a because you're writing the cosine of uh, angle a plus b so you need this side so you have a now so the next part is you need to figure out what d is so how can you write d so d is on this length uh, on this this uh, this length so basically d is related to this right triangle this right triangle. So what can you write an expression in terms of D? 
Well, you know this is angle A, but if you look at it from this side, right? So this is a right triangle. D is the opposite, and this is uh, A. So you have, you have to write sine because you have uh, sine in this equation. So you will say, what is sine? Sine A is equal to D over C. You can pretty much write that. So sine A is equal to D over C. Then you can write as D equals to C sine A. Well, now it looks good. Uh, now it looks good in terms of see, you have a minus d. So basically, you can you have a you have d now. You can actually write a minus d. So now let's try this. You have enough information to write this because this is the uh, cosine a plus b. So basically, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. This one. So you can just write cosine of a plus b is equal to adjacent, which is a minus d over hypotenuse, hypotenuse 2. So what do we have here? So a is equal to h1 cosine a. That's what you have. Minus d. d is equal to uh, c sine a over h2. Uh, you really have to cancel out h2 here. So what you have in this term really h1 and c. None of them can really cancel out like h2. So what do you have to do? You probably have to actually find out how to write h1 and c in terms of h2. So now let's look at h1. Now h1 is over here. Well, this this is the second right triangle. Like you have you have h2 here. So the only thing, only way you can do is using the uh using the second right triangle because only second one only like second right triangle has h2. So how can you write this is angle b? So this is adjacent over hypotenuse. So actually, you can write that cosine of B is actually equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So basically H1 over H2. What does it give you? H1 is equal to H2 cosine of B. So now you have H2 that you can cancel off, H, cancel off H2. Looks good. How about C? Well, C is this side. You have the second right triangle and that's the angle. Now, what do you see? If you say sine B is actually equal to opposite over hypotenuse C over H two, so uh, yeah, so you can write sine B is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. So it's basically C over H two. What does that give you? C is equal to H two sine B. Ah, now it looks good. This one also has an H two. You can cancel out with this now. So just substitute this. And this into this equation, you have cosine of a plus b is equal to uh, h2 cosine of b cosine of a minus h2 sine b times sine a all over h2. Now, h2 cancel each other when you factor this out, it cancel this out. So what do you have now? You have this, cosine of b cosine of a minus sine b sine a. So now let's, let me just switch these two terms, right? Like, it's okay, it's just order, it's a multiplication. You can switch it easily. So uh, cosine of a plus b, I forgot the bracket, equals to, let's switch, cosine of a cosine of b minus sine a sine B. I guess that's the same. I just, just like write it differently. So it's the same as this equation here. So now this shows. Now I just talked about cosine of a plus b. How about cosine of a minus b? What is that equal to? Now let's look at this. I've already like sketched out this three triangle for you. Now, if you have a look at this, right? Like, let's say angle A plus B, which is what we just did to show the cosine of A plus B. So this side, right, we're here, we're just keeping the hypotenuse constant at x equals to two. So this is H2, this is H2, this is H2 we're using. So the hypotenuse on this three right triangle, they are the same, so here. So this is the right triangle, just make sure. Right triangle and right triangle. So 
in this case, you know that the base is a minus d when it's a, then the angle is a plus b. Basically, it's the same as this one here. Angle is a plus b, the base is a minus d. So when the angle is just a, so basically it's smaller, the hypotenuse is still the same, So, but it's just less steep here. So you the sine length is actually a. So let's go back to this uh, diagram. See, this right triangle. When it's only a, the length is actually a, keeping the hypotenuse the same. Like, well, in this case, like it would be h2 and h1 is pretty same. Now, this is what we are looking at. Angle a minus b, angle a minus b. What does that look like now? The hypotenuse is even less deeper than this one, right? So basically, steepest, uh, second steepest, lowest steepest, basically not really the steep. So what's, what, what does that show you? Well, when the hypotenuse is uh, flatter, like less steeper, and has a, basically because of have, it has a less, uh, uh, smaller angle, then the base is longer. Because we care about base, we care about the base because we're doing cosine. So then this one will be a plus d. You see this thing here. If it's larger, it's a minus d. If it's like in the middle, it's a. And then when it's a minus b, basically here is a plus d. So now what I can write is cosine of a minus b is actually equals to. Now when you have cosine of a plus b is a minus d, that's the base. Now I'm going to write the base for a for angle a minus b. So basically a plus d, a plus d over hypotenuse 2. Because it's the adjacent over hypotenuse, right? That's the cosine. So everything else is the same. So a is still a, right? So a would be expressed as what we have, like right? this. But we have plugged that in already, right? Into h1. So we have a equals x2 cosine b, which is this. x2 cosine b cosine a x2 cosine b cosine a plus d oh, what is d? we have this d so d is c sine a but we already plug c into c uh, in, uh, plug this into c so we have c as in x2 sine b sine a plus x2 sine b sine a divided by x2 so when you factor h2 out this cancels each other so what you have left is cosine of b cosine of a plus sine b sine a. Well, I guess you would like to see a in front of b, so I'm gonna write this again as in as cosine of a cosine of b plus sine a sine b, and that's cosine of a min uh, minus b. So now I'm gonna conclude this. Cosine of a plus b is actually equal to cosine of a cosine of b minus psi a psi b. Now cosine of a minus b is actually equal to cosine of a cosine of b plus psi a psi b. Thank you.